Hey guys, it's Dana with Sully Photography. So I am doing a tutorial on cleaning up eye bags. This is my gorgeous model. She is my step cousin, Heather, and my mom decided to get her drunk the night before my shoot. So this is the joy that I was left with <laughs> to clean up. So the first thing I want to do now, mind you, I have not done any pre-editing here. There has not been any smart fixes. There's been nothing. And I like to do the eye bags first before I do anything else. So I'm going to go ahead and let me click on here. Go ahead and zoom in. Get as close as you can. So when you do the bags, I used to clone. Cloning sucks. Don't do it at all. Grab your brush. Make sure you have a soft brush. Leave your opacity about 20%. I usually do 29-30%, but we're going to do 20% today check your brush settings make sure your hardness is at zero I don't mess with anything else that's in there um, make sure that if you want to make sure all your stuff is the same as mine but I've never touched any of this other stuff so I just make sure my hardness is at zero so once I check that close that up you're gonna do the same concept as cloning you're gonna hit your alt key you're gonna grab a part of the skin I'm gonna grab right here click and we're just gonna gently brush it over now I get close to my eyes because I use Chroma Lux to come behind and do a smoky eye. Um, I recommend if you do not have Chroma Lux that you definitely get it because it's that badass. Um, but I also do fashion type photography so it's something that comes in very handy for me. I do enjoy my actions. I know some people enjoy hand editing and there are things that I will hand edit. But um, makeup is one thing I love my actions for. So I highly recommend if you do a lot of portraits and that sort of thing, get the Chroma Lux. It's worth every penny. So now that I've gotten a little bit done, I'm going to go ahead and zoom out and just kind of get a closer look at, or better look at what I'm seeing here. Now notice you will see that it's not exactly perfect. I'm not terribly concerned about that because, like I said, I do this before everything else. So once you do all of your portrait presets and your skin airbrushing and so forth, this this will all basically fade in there and you won't have to make it extremely perfect. You just want to clean it up enough to get the dark spots out from underneath. Um, I don't go far down. I don't try to ruin the texture of the skin. Just try to get up in there. Again, I do it close because I will come back with, with uh, my Chroma Lux and fix all this. But as you can see, it's really easy with your brush. Now, you can use a higher opacity, but remember, you're going to lose your skin texture and so forth. So just kind of look at your opacity when you're playing with it and see. But see, that doesn't look so beautiful at this point. But again, when it's finished, and I'm going to go ahead and post the before and after underneath the video. But when it's finished, and all of my editing is done you'll never know that the bags were there so the brush is my go-to for the bags I used to clone and the issues with cloning are first of all it looks like crap <laughs> second of all it takes forever to get this exactly right because cloning is is not nearly the same as a brush um, cloning really gives me a lot of trouble I am NOT a cloner I hate cloning I will do everything I can to avoid cloning at all costs I don't know if you guys agree with that um, I know some people feel the same way so if you understand what I'm saying you will realize that cloning is just not the way to go now um, like I said, I'm going to post the before and after, but you can totally see the difference as to how easy it is with the brush. It, it's freaking phenomenal. It's so awesome. I highly recommend it. Get away from the cloning. Don't do it ever again. So that's it, guys. A brush. Make sure it's a soft brush. Make sure your opacity is about 20%. Do not go higher than 30% on your opacity. And check your brush settings. Make sure your hardness is at zero. I keep the fade, the hue jitter, and the scatter at zero, and the roundness at 100%, spacing at 25. The reason all that is set that way is because that's how it's always been set. I have never fiddled with it. So um, I seem to do okay with it like that. So if you want to write those settings down, that's fantastic. But always make sure your hardness is at zero. And it has to be a soft brush brush because we all know a hard brush is going to be pretty icky and it's not going to be nice and it won't blend. So that's how you do it. Um, if you guys have any questions, definitely PM me or hit me up in the thread and I'm going to post this and I'll give you, uh, I'll post the before and after for you as well. I hope that helps everybody.